Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie Zatz and I love to make videos for you guys. And today I'm going to be exposing one of my very special secrets. I'm going to be teaching you guys how I make my hoop transitions. And I know the videos go by really fast, but there's actually a lot, a lot of planning that goes into these hoop transitions. And I just wanted to share them with you guys so that you can make your own too, because it's super fun. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do it, everything from beginning to end, all the way through. I'm gonna show you guys how I do it on TikTok, how I record, how I do literally everything. So I'm gonna cue the voiceover right now. So first I pick out which song I'm gonna make the TikTok to and believe it or not, this can actually take me like an hour. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I just play the song a few times and try to come up with a routine that I want to do for the transition, especially a trick. And then I decided I didn't like that song. So here's me trying to figure out another song to pick. And then next we're gonna be utilizing this trim tool. And basically what this does is that it allows you to pick and choose when you want the song on TikTok to start. Usually full songs won't be uploaded, but whatever part of the song is uploaded, you can actually adjust just. So we're gonna use that and it also allows us to loop the song so that we can just keep practicing our TikToks over and over again until you're ready to record. So here I'm just adjusting where I want the song to begin and then I'm just gonna put my phone down and let the song keep looping and just keep playing it until I come up with a little routine for my move. And I know I'm going to do this revolving door jump through trick for the transition part, but I just need to figure out a little routine for the beginning part. So that's what I'm doing here. And it definitely helps to just keep practicing a few times so that when you do record, you know exactly where in the music you are with each trick and each movement. So yeah, just keep practicing this. It helps, I promise. It does take a minute, but it does help. At this point, I have my routine and I'm getting ready to record. I'm making sure my music is in the right spot. And then I'm going to click this timer button. And this timer button is going to allow us to stop recording in the middle of the song so that we can get this really nice transition and not have to do much editing. So I'm gonna click start countdown, but I'm going to move the tracker to somewhere around 9.5 seconds. And that's where it's going to stop recording. So here's the timer. I'm gonna get ready and I'm gonna begin my first sequence. For copyright reasons, I can't play the song, so just go on TikTok if you want to watch it with the music. So as you can see, I ended with this revolving door jump through and the recording stopped just right after that. I wasn't happy with it though, so I'm gonna go back and re-record because I was just a bit out of the frame. You can absolutely put tape on the ground to mark where you wanna stand, but I like to give myself a challenge, you guys. I like to make things a lot harder for myself, so I'm just gonna record this again right here. Here I'm just taking a second to watch it back over and make sure I'm happy with it. And I am happy with it, but I'm just going to save it to my drafts and record just one more time, you guys, just in case I screw up the editing later down the line. You wanna make sure you have just two drafts always. So I'm just recording this one more time and I'm actually really happy that I did end up recording this one more time because this is the one that I ended up going with for the TikTok. Watch it one more time to make sure you're completely happy with it because if it's nighttime and you wanna redo the beginning part, you can until the following day when it's daytime again. So again, just make sure that you're happy with it and record as many drafts as you need. Then save that baby to your drafts and we're gonna come back to it later. And I like to write this one so I know which one to come back to. Three hours later. Now it's a little bit darker outside, so I'm just gonna close my blinds, close the lights, and we're gonna get prepared to record this LED segment. When you're recording the second segment, you're going to want to begin with the last trick that you did in the last segment. So I did the revolving door jump through, so that's what I'm going to start with here. Watch it over, make sure you're happy with it. That actually went decently well. We're not gonna have much to edit. So we're going to be utilizing this adjust clips tool right here. And we're going to be trimming down each of the clips so that they can meet in the middle of the trick. I know that sounds pretty confusing. So let me show you what I mean by that. 
So we're gonna click adjust clips right here. And the first clip honestly doesn't need much editing because it kind of stops in the middle of the trick anyways. So I'm just going to take the second clip here and just make it match the first clip in the middle of the trick. So as you can see, I'm just trimming it down a teeny bit. And there you have it. This one was pretty easy. Um, I wasn't really happy with it though. So of course I recorded again. So we're gonna do this one more time, you guys. I'm so glad I re-recorded it because I got this little back roll in there. So now we're gonna go back to adjust clips again and I'm just going to trim it so that um, the transition lands kind of like when the hoop is behind my back right here. So the first clip didn't need much adjusting. I'm just adjusting the second clip here as you can see the hoop's behind my back and then that's where the two clips meet is behind my back right there. And there you have it, a flawless transition. Watch it back one more time. Make sure you're happy with it. And I'm happy with it. Mwah, chef's kiss. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. If you guys want to see some other transition tutorials, let me know. I'd be happy to do more tutorials. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. It would mean the world to me. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you're notified every time a new upload goes up. And don't forget to smash that like button for me. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.